Our warm ups are extremely important because you've got to get those muscles working, especially in these cold temperatures. Because of their pool, I think everyone sort of went, OK, they're going to come out of their pool on top, let's wait and see on who they're going to play. But they've certainly been looked at and analysed, and halfway through you know, the first couple of weeks, people were starting to question where they're at. But their last game against Tonga, I felt they started to get their game together, got a bit of confidence what they were doing in the second half, simplified what they were doing. And I think that's pretty good preparation going into this quarterfinal, which is going to be tough, like a rematch against France and Cardiff. You know, They would have prepared for this, and uh, you know, they'll, be, they'll be focused on um, putting on a performance that will get them to that next, that next level. Well, the interesting thing being when you talk to these players in this group that they understand that they've got to stay focused on every single week and they've got to prepare themselves for each task in front of them. And, and they did that in 2011, but there was a completely different pressure on Europe. Right over here, I think that's been part of the reason they seem to have flown under the radar is because they haven't had that pressure of being at home, so they've been able to be by themselves essentially and prepare as best they can and look the gap between these teams just got very very close teams have started to come into form particularly Australia South Africa have turned their last couple of weeks around after losing to Japan they're playing with great confidence and of course Ireland last yesterday were very very good against France so bottom line most teams are coming into form at the right time now the All Blacks challenge is can they win the big three in a row I think they know if they prepare and play the way they're capable of playing, then they know they can win this tournament. But essentially, they've got to take each week as it comes and they'll keep their eye on the prize knowing that there's no point worrying about other teams because you don't know who you're going to play. It could be one or the other, so this week it's France. They're well and truly focused on that. If they get that right and they play, as I say, the way they can play, they know that they're good enough to win. So that's the challenge. And I don't think they have been too worried about other teams. They'll do the analysis, they'll prepare, but in the end it'll come down if they play like the way this All Blacks team can play it, they're certainly good enough to win. He is the greatest All Black. I've said that for years. If you think in the longevity of him and his position and the way that he's played and dominated that position for such a long period of time, I don't think we'll see another Richie McCaw. People will be saying, oh, there's always another one coming up. I don't think we'll see someone who has had such an influence on the All Blacks like he has over the period of time and just as important his leadership and what he's created amongst this group is something that the, the All Blacks are going to feed off and believe in for a long, long time. There's Collins as well, and McAllister shouting for it, and that's a fine try. Elisal, Josie, oh, this is clear, and in goes Doucetois, and Doucetois almost takes the roof off the stadium, but the cheers go up. France have breached New Zealand's defence. to short, Soyalu, oh and did he get that, he might have done, Tony Spreadbury, the touch judge has seen it, he's calling the referee over and I think he is saying that's a try. Oh and in comes Damion, try, using his pace, well it might have been a touch forward but he got away they pass inside, and Josio over. Well, Michelak has made an instant impression, if ever there was one. He managed to have the foresight to turn inside as well. He obviously got a call, but it was great. And France are in the lead, unbelievably. Oh, and they've lost it forward, and this is going to be it. Is just going to run the ball off the bench into the stand, and France are still in the World Cup. New Zealand look absolutely staggered. They cannot believe it. The run goes on. They have not won the World Cup since 1987.
Concussion. I've suffered from it, and we've all heard about it. But how many of us are in danger of ignoring it? Concussion is an injury to the brain. The consequences can be serious and even fatal. If there's a chance you've had one not too many out there, use your head and get off the field. Protect yourself and protect your teammates. By recognising the symptoms and helping them to make the right decisions. We can all help protect rugby players at every level of the game. So basically what we're saying is recognise and remove. As a player, you can be your own first line of defence. If you feel any of these symptoms, either in a match or after one, get yourself off the pitch and get assessed by your medical staff. Listen to what they tell you and only get back out there when they say you're ready. That includes training. And remember, take extra care and time with children and young players. Stay off the park for at least two weeks after the symptoms clear. Whether you're a test cap or a club player, the risk of concussion is something we're all in together. Use your head. Recognise and remove.